the rotary. A lot of people get scared of this thing. Some people have even asked me, Landon, do you even know how to use a rotary? I do. I have self-taught myself. I had a little instruction from some buddies, but other than that, there's been nobody by my side to show me how to use this thing. So we have on this test panel, let me show y'all, we got a light, and then we have 2,000 right there, and then right in here, we have 3,000, you can see it. That's 3,000 grit. I'm thinking about doing half of this right here, this half, I'm going to do this front half right here with the rotary, and then I might later on do this back half with the dual action. All right, so I'm going to set y'all down. Probably not going to do much talking, just more hey, uh, show y'all if it helps anybody. And then uh, I guess to all the haters, here you go. Here's a here's me uh, using a rotary, even though I do appreciate the DA, and I'm going to do it using a, a micro cut. So I don't know. You're probably not going to like that either. So um, I do have some water, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to be in a low setting. Um, some things to keep in mind if you are new to a rotary. You want to go either 12 o'clock or 6 o'clock. Or excuse me, 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock, uh, 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock. Does that make sense if you're looking at it? So so either up and down or left and right. Don't, don't try to do anything else because it will... Uh, it'll manhandle you. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna um, miss some water. Let me get this stream right. Hold on. Why water? Water produ reduces the heat and it's extra lubrication. So all these products these days, you know, they have, um, they got water in them, but why not give it a little bit more? I don't know. I don't ever think the moment. I'm gonna ring it out really quick on low speed. Or, High speed, away from the camera. Alright, using a twisted or wool pad, twisted loop. I guess, I think it's called twisted loop. I don't know. Something with a rotary. Some people do it differently. Um, how I was shown is to, you want to lay a bead and you pick the bead up going like this, if that makes sense. So that way it spreads the product out evenly so if that makes sense i don't know if i got too much or not but there like a 12 inch bead or something it's probably too much for this area but we'll work it okay so here's to me uh doing the rotary and then i got the um waffle one what we're going to use next so y'all can see it um we're going to be working this little area right here so i'm going to go on slow and i'm going to be using it slow the whole time so hope y'all enjoy <laughs> Like I said, it's probably too much product for the area, but I'm going to use it. We're on like maybe 700. Don't always have to go fast. Just keep that in mind. But you always want to be moving. It builds so much heat on the pad, especially around the edges. That's where a lot of heat is generated. You want to always keep moving. Let me pick it up a little bit.
letting the pad do the work. I'm not doing anything. I'm just moving it, keeping it flat. Just a little bit more. Water is a good thing. Keep in mind, we're doing this with a micro cut. up a little bit. I'm gonna I really want to see if I can finish this out so we're gonna see. Maybe I don't need the waffle pad. I really want to see. First time doing this. I've never done this before with this one so let's have fun. 1400 So, where are we at? I don't know. I'm gonna do uh, a yeah, dupli color uh, grease and wax remover. I'm just gonna. Well, that's heavy. There we go. If you see here any crying in the background, it's probably our kids having enough of each other. So, a uh, little build up right there. Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come back here. Okay, all right, there you go. So, micro cut. Y'all can see, I'll bring y'all around. Here we go, Let's turn it around. Hold on a second. Here we go, let me get the light. Ah, hold on. Okay, keep this straight and stable. There you go, that whole area. Now you can see the area I didn't hit right there. Here we go. Bring y'all out. I didn't hit that. That was kind of the edge of it. So here, yes. Here, no. Like I said, all right, we'll dry this off a little bit. I'll bring y'all in a little bit closer. Might use the waffle weed, maybe get a little shiny gloss. Sorry if this is a little bit longer video, but I just wanted to show it, uh, it can be done. So I'm gonna use a duplicolor on the whole panel. Get it all nice and uh, cleaned off and that um, that's one thing if you do use a rotary and maybe it's like m105 or and then m205 or something or whatever um, you can spray this on there uh, the duplicolor grease and wax remover and then uh, I let it dwell for a second you probably can see here we go you'll see it flash so you kind of see the streaking it's colder today so I let it flash alert whatever you want to call it a little bit longer okay so i'm not the expert on the rotary um, this is a test panel but i just wanted to show y'all um one i know how to do it um done enough uh practicing over a year to kind of teach myself um, cutting power 
of a micro cut polish polish with the right pad can give you really good results okay so I'll, uh, I'll dismount y'all really quick and then I'll mount y'all back and then I'll, we'll probably hit it with the waffle just because I want to um, show y'all the, um, well, let me make sure I can see what I'm doing, hold on. Turn around, here we go. All right, get the light. All right, so we had our 3000 right here. I think my son hit it with a hammer. There we go, is that good? much there we go let me just put it around here just follow the light maybe over here will be better for you guys so you can see where we were there we go so that's where we were and then where we polished. Yep, yep, kids are going after it. <laughs> Alright, so we stopped halfway right there. And then we were right here. Alright, so 3,000, 2,000 grit is gone. I figured that would be gone. Okay. Now I can see. <clears throat> Let me bring y'all in a little bit closer. Here we go. I'm trying to make sure I can show y'all what I'm talking about. We got that, then you can see right there, we got our 2000 grit. So you see the area we polished right there, and then the area we finished out in. Okay, I'm trying to make sure I can show y'all. I'm gonna get my phone light really quick just to help out. So you can see 3000 grit. No more. All right. 2,000 grit. A little dent, sorry. 2,000 grit. No more. Okay. So, can finish out. I'm going to do the waffle just to give it a little extra pop. And uh, just hang in there. I know it's a longer video, but just uh, let's do this the right way. I'm going to be doing this. Um, so I'm going to take this pad off and then we'll, I'm going to do the micro cut again with the uh, waffle pad. See what we can whip up. All right. And I will miss the foam pad just because I like the lubrication. That's just me. Um, I'll do whatever you think's best, but that's my just a uh, suggestion and from what I've um, learned. And the DeWalt rotary is the first one I have ever, I have ever used. So it's the one I purchased early on and we'll, uh, I just started learning on it. I just because I wanted to. It's just something I think uh, um, it's fun to do. It's why not teach yourself. I, I like trying. I like a, a challenge. What I do when I get the pad wet is I get it pretty moist, and then I'll wring it out full speed until it's kind of damp. That way, I know I'm not oversaturating it. Bring it away from the camera. All right, there we go. Now we're damp. All right, here we go. We'll lay a little bit smaller bead this time. How about that? <laughs> we'll do. Um, we'll do. But we'll go all crazy. Uh, we'll do it right here. Oop. Sorry if that bumped y'all at all. Probably do a smaller one. There. We'll call that good. Okay. So here we go. We're gonna go on low speed, and it is a slow start. <laughs> I love the cruise control on the uh, the wall. It's a lot of fun. Now when it grabs like that, you already know you're going to need more water. 
I'm just gonna put it on there and we're going. I'm not overthinking the moment. I'm doing what I think it, it needs. I was, you listen to it, don't keep pushing it if you see something like that happening. Listen to what it's doing. It'll start getting grabby and it'll start trying to run away from you. You probably saw it and I even thought about trying to fight it, but it's not the best idea. Alright? 